What is up friends? My name is Laura. If you've never visited my YouTube channel before, welcome. I just got to Guadalupe National Park where I am going to be hiking Guadalupe Peak, which is the tallest peak in Texas. I am going to do this video a little bit differently. I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of information along the way, but I am going to take some notes. So make sure if you're kind of just looking for some general beautiful views and what the highest peak in Texas looks like, you kind of can just watch halfway. But if you are looking to hike this at some point, I will give you some great tips. So make sure you watch right through till the end. Also make sure you subscribe and watch me hopefully tallest peaks in each 50 states. Let's officially get started. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be sleeping here in my car um, tonight and I'll give you a full overview after. And my car camping spot for the night here. Just a quick update for anyone. Um, I also like tent camping and there's no way I could out here today. I have literally all of my layers on. It's only 5.30 and it's 40 degrees and the wind is crazy. So I'm not thrilled with that. Um, so make sure since you're at 5,000 feet um, already just at the parking lot that you bring a lot of layers. Okay, it is 6 a.m. Um, the trailhead is surprisingly packed um, and there's slowly people heading to the trail. So I'm gonna head out there now. So continuing going up, we'll just be doing switchbacks. You kind of can see people there and up there. So I think that's gonna be the first fall summit. So I am about 45 minutes in, about three quarters of the way up the long switchbacks, which I believe is kind of right until it's going to level out and be a lot more flat, but I've gotten like just this perfect, beautiful day. I've heard it's so windy up here and there's no wind, so I'm going to have to delayer a little bit and then continue climbing. Okay, so I'm just coming up on the official like fall summit here so it'll be flat now um, and I got here in just over an hour. went into the shade and although it's not windy today it got chilly I had to put all my layers back on but now I'm headed back to the other side so I'll be in the nice sun again
also, I'm not sure if you can read that, but it says Guadalupe Peak Campsite and then just has a trail to there. Um, I'm not going to take that trail, but I did just talk to people and they said from here is about an hour to the summit. Okay, I'm guessing about like 20 more minutes. So I see no other peaks behind it, but I don't like 100% know that that's the peak. So um, we will see here. But I've been going at a really good pace, so happy about that. Okay, so once you turn this curve, I can actually see someone right up there. Yay, I made it. hike nothing's crazy um, but I do I do always like to share just some general tips from my experience I hiked this in mid-December on a Saturday so I knew you know hiking on a Saturday it is going to be a lot more busy but that's something that I make sure to start earlier in the day then so that's what I prepared for I started around 6 30 a.m. Um, and I didn't only see I saw like two people and I passed them like 75% of the way through um, the entire like up there um, once I was at the summit, there were already two people up there. And then on the way down, I would honestly say I probably saw over 200. I definitely know that hiking the tallest peaks in each state, you know, that brings people in. National parks bring people in. But it was a lot of people. Um, I would say everyone was super, super friendly. I also will say that this is in 2020, so I always want to let you know in case you're uncomfortable with hiking around people. So this is one of those ones that you're going to be around more people. Um, I don't know how long this pandemic will go on for, but that is something to keep in mind. You are someone who, you know, you have a group and you're not, you know, camping there and you're just, you know, wanting to start leisurely. Um, I would say nine or 10 was like the main groups that seem to be going out. If you are like me and don't like to be around people on the way up to the summit, I would say starting um, probably between six and eight a.m. As it is the tallest peak in, you know, the state, there's not gonna be other uh, mountains around it to shield it. So once you're at the summit, it actually was like freezing and super windy, which I'd read in reviews, but it was crazy because the first half, I had to like, as I said, de-layer. Like I was just so hot. So that was something interesting to keep in mind. At the actual area itself, they did have bathrooms that were really nice. Like I, I honestly was happy with them. Um, they had this area for like washing dishes if you needed to do that because you were camping. And then they also had a place for a water fountain. And I always find those things really helpful because you know, the visitor center was way over there and who knows if it'll be open and stuff like that. So that's always like really important for filling up your water, of course. It was $10 um, per person to hike this. I was pretty surprised since that is a national park. I don't know why my National Parks Pass doesn't work. Um, 
it didn't say. You basically, uh, and there was someone going around like at all times, making sure like you just tear that off and put it on your windshield. So make sure you for sure pay the $10. Um, and it's not $10 per vehicle, it is $10 individual hiker. Guadalupe National Park, there are a few other hikes around, but for the most part, that's the main one. That's the reason people are there. There also is a visitor center. I always like to include Wi-Fi because my job requires Wi-Fi. I honestly feel more comfortable when I'm camping with Wi-Fi still. Um, people always are like, why should you talk about Wi-Fi? But anyways, um, the visitor center has free Wi-Fi and I got a little bit of reception at the trail. So if that's something that you need, have no fear, you'll get that. This trail was marked as hard. I would definitely give it a hard, but I would say it was more moderate on the hard scale. It was nine miles, but it just was kind of just constant switchbacks. I would say um, it kind of started hard. It went, um, there's kind of like two full summits like I talked about. It went a little bit more flat and then it went a little bit steeper than like the first bit. And that steeper section did not last. It probably only lasts about 20 minutes. There is definitely no source of water along the way, so make sure you are bringing that with you. The final part that I'll talk about is a lot of people say it takes around seven to eight hours. I will say, like, I am a fast hiker and I didn't really take any breaks. Um, on the way down, like, I kind of was just, like just chit-chatting with people, so I, it probably took me the same amount of time on the way up as the way down. But on the way up, it took me three hours, and on the way down, probably close to three hours. Um, and stuff so make sure you are starting you know at a good time there were rangers there let making sure you know you had water and stuff with you um so just make sure that you keep that in mind for what your end time is i hope you like this video guys if you are doing guadalupe peak or attempting the peaks challenge or anything like that let me know in the comments below i would love to hear it. if you do have any questions at all i am always happy to answer them so thanks so much guys keep living life bye